Thanks for that PWA thing. I, I would be looking at it. I've got Lighthouse installed somewhere there. But um, I haven't got into it yet. I must say I prefer AppCache. It was so much simpler how you could just name your files and it just worked. Now everything's so much more complicated with this JavaScript stuff. Oh, you heard of it? <laughs> <laughs> I got the JavaScript for T, if everyone's wondering why I'm miserable. <coughs> So, um, oh, it's not working? No. It's, oh, it's not receiving? <laughs> <laughs> what OS are you in? Huh? What OS are you on? Arch Linux, heard of it? <laughs> How many Arch Linux users? I've compiled it myself. <laughs> Just two, three. Oh, Jim May, you're on Arch Linux. You're not on Arch Linux. Join us losers after <laughs> Linux users. Uh, that's what a loser stands for. Um, Okay, so um, serverless is quite a hot topic. Is it working now? No, it's not working. Oh, no, that's actually quite good because I was going to show you something proprietary. Shall I just... <laughs> Maybe it's going to all work when USB-C comes around. <laughs> <coughs> um, yeah, serverless is something like my colleague was saying, oh, we're going to do a serverless app. And uh, just like, I guess there's a hype cycle with all technology, when I got down to doing a serverless app, I felt like I was the only one doing it. Because, you know, you look on Stack Overflow and there's quite a few question, open questions about the topic. And I'll, I'll get into where, where, I, where I had trouble with serverless. Oh, it's starting? Okay, it's starting. Um, okay, so serverless is pretty hot. Everyone knows what AWS stands for, right? <laughs> it stands for hours. <laughs> it says a lot about it. Okay. Full disclosure, guys. I'm a Trump supporter. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm joking. No, full disclosure, I'm, I'm a white guy, married to an Asian woman, living in Singapore. Draw your own conclusions. No, I am an Amazon uh, hero, which means Amazon sort of selected me for running the Amazon user group. So yeah, I'm invested in, I guess, Amazon. But if you can do the same sort of stuff in other uh, platforms, let me know, because I'm, I am just genuinely interested. But yeah, I think that, uh, AWS stuff is the best right now. So you know, full disclosure, take what I have to say with a, with a grain of salt. Um, my presentation is online. I also have a YouTube channel I'm quite keen about. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. And this is the company I work for. It's called Spool. It does, we do Bollywood. So we're like the Netflix of Bollywood films. Um, so yeah, we use a lot of AWS stuff and that sort of stuff. So this is this is my uh, this is why I cracked out keynote on my wife's computer. This was too difficult to draw on the web, I thought. <laughs> so I just did it with the keynote, and it was easier. So this is where we are, I think, right now. Like, um, you know, how many of you guys are like on a LAMP stack with a, you know with a bit of jQuery? You know what I mean? A little bit of jQuery here. How many people are here? You can put your hands up. <laughs> Just three? You're, you're definitely there. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't use JavaScript. <laughs> and, now, and now we're, I would say we're pretty, um, I mean, the hype cycle is pretty much here in the, on the microservices. So in my workplace, this is like some sort of Rails API, and this is React.js. I, am I right, guys? Are we here? Are you with me? Are you awake? <laughs> Christ's sake! Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much here. This, I think it's called microservices. And who knows what? Yeah, sorry, I didn't even find what that means. Lamp is like when you run, run like a Red Hat server with Linux, Apache, Apache you know, probably Nginx, <laughs> probably MariaDB, and probably yeah, yeah maybe, maybe PHP. But it, I mean, this is also typically Rails. So microservices, yeah, um, at my workplace they run Rails and some React.js or, or, or some statically generated pages. That's something I've done recently. Statically generated pages, oh yes. <laughs> I am so happy to see the load graph went down today in a big way, we're all that out. But now everyone is talking about serverless. So this is that JavaScript bullshit everyone's talking about. Full stack! <laughs> it's like, oh god, oh god, <laughs> I'm scared, everybody. But it's, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. But it, it, there's a lot of 
big assumption to service. So I guess service, in my um, opinion, is when you work <laughs> entirely with JavaScript all day, every day, and you're basically writing Lambda functions. And the service that I want to describe today is that uh, I'm building my own, like, uh, hmm, is it called an NPM module or something? The package.json and Webpack. And then I pull in AWS SDK. And then I host it on S3. So basically, it's a static JavaScript app that's talking to AWS APIs. This is how I define serverless. I think, is that the right definition? Gosh, I don't know. I'm just making, yeah. please make it so, because I'm not sure. Is it so, serverless or less of serverless? So, <laughs> another thing is like, yeah, it's, it's not really serverless. Serverless means you're just not running your own server anymore, I guess. I guess. And that's supposed to be good. So well, well, what makes serverless possible, right? Um, it, it has some major ass, um, assumptions. Like, you need some excellent, excellent APIs. I've worked with APIs, like I'm sure some of you have, and the nuances of using APIs is like, <laughs> it's pain. It's pain. And then if you're like in some like terrible internet country, like, uh, what, what country has terrible internet? Indonesia or something, I don't know. You, it's probably a bad idea to do serverless because you're going to be having like internet connectivity problems talking to an AWS server. With excellent APIs, we're making a huge assumption here. I'm assuming that Amazon is really close to me, super reliable, and has all APIs. It's like that's not really the case for most of the world. Let's be honest. And uh, the Amazon SDK. Uh, <laughs> But um, the good news is that I've discovered like doc clients and things like that that makes talking uh, JSON very easy, I'd say. Then, then you need the security thing. And to be honest, this is one of the things like, I came here to, to sort of consult with you guys because I'm really not sure about security in this. I'm really not sure. Because like, yeah, we, we're building in our company logic into this app, which you could probably decompile, and then you could probably hack me. I think the security is a little bit dubious. And the way that like OAuth 2 and all these sort of like STS tokens are passed around, it's a little bit scary. <clears throat> but the good news is that Amazon have like quite fine grained control and you can you can have a look at access uh, like access advisor and you can see exactly what's been accessed. So Amazon kind of take care of this thing, but not really. But the security thing is a nightmare. So my big suggestion, my, I hope you guys can remember this, is that if you're going to do a service to app, I think try and do it internally to your company, as, as opposed to that, before like, going whole hog and, and public with it. That's, that's my advice. And then, yeah, you, you need excellent tooling, I think, for this. Like, what was, li what was life like before Google DevTools? Google DevTools have saved me again and again. I have a Bye bye. <laughs> Jesus, man, that's like walking <laughs> through mud and glasses. And, no, and, um, yeah, I guess bye bye was good until um, until Google hired that guy or something. Um, but yeah, you need like really cool tools to do this stuff. I think. Who's using Webpack, for example? Maintainer of fonts and modules. What? A maintainer. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like Webpack. Uh, yeah, so. I wanted to say the hardest thing about this whole thing was actually setting up the OAuth 2 authentication so that the uh, person using the app can get access to the APIs. It was quite complicated. I think the easiest way to do it is just use Amazon uh, Cognito. But like many companies, uh, who uses Google Apps for like doing the whole freaking thing in the company? Is it just me and my employers? Come on, guys, don't be shy. Okay, Google Apps is pretty common. And uh, that means that like you have to like go through I think Google's the worst actually. Google, you have to like go down this like weird place. I don't know what to call it. Oh no, I missed it. Oh you have to go through this Google API and you have to find this thing, you have to set it up, and then you have to get a client ID, and then you map that client ID back to Amazon. And with some tinkering and all that sort of stuff, it might, it should work. And if you guys run into trouble, I've done this a few times now, so you can probably ask me. And then furthermore, you can limit the scope of um, 
of, of who can log into your app, to your domain, like the, my employees are called is at school.com. So basically, if everything goes super duper well, you should get something like this. You can't really see that. So this basically, basically it's limited to at school.com. Oh gosh, that, that, that's like a month of work to get to that far, almost. So once you've got the, um, that, this, this horrible authentication puzzle out of the way, then you can log in um, and, and gain access to, to Amazon APIs. You're away. You can build a serverless application. Do I need to tell you how to do that? Google Cloud. No. It's, uh, anyway, I, I have a demo for you guys. Well, do I have a demo? Yeah. I wrote, the, if you can remember this URL, you can have a look at it. It's basically, oh, where is it? Um, I killed it. Oh, no, here it is. Basically, it's a, a very simple uh, view app. Who's using Vue.js? I'm, use, I'm hitting all the things. Serverless, Vue, JavaScript, PWA. No, I'm not using PWA. Uh, <laughs> but he, he, um, this is a very simple app. Uh, MIT license, whatever, and you can basically, this, all it is is demonstrating me look at, looking at a DynamoDB table. <coughs> That's amazing. It took me months to get here. Am I an idiot? <laughs> uh, okay, and, and in my last few seconds, I'll, I'll, show, also, I'll show you what I've done at work. So at work, um, we, we, we're all Amazon up, really. Like, some, some movies come into the S3 folder, and then it gets put in the DynamoDB, and then you edit the movie here. And, and, the, and as you can see, this URL is um, just, what do you call it, an S3 website URL. So everything here is serverless. Everything is driven by like Lambda APIs and, or API, uh, yeah, Lambda APIs and the AWS SDK DynamoDB. Um, <coughs> I, even, I even bothered to write a little S3 um, uh, interface, if my internet was working. It was my token. That's another thing to bloody worry about. The token expiring. Uh, <coughs> but yeah, I even wrote like a little uh, S3 um, interface and, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a, a thing to upload files. And I think, you know, after getting this far and everything like this, <coughs> and after being bruised and beaten by Docker and all that sort of stuff, I'm loving this. I think I've seen the future, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually loving this. I mean, of course, I'm making some assumptions that this can be hacked, probably, and, uh, and AWS is, is just next door to me. But this is this is the way to go. This is like so much easier than freaking running up Docker and, and talking to the Rails guys, and and it, it is quite cool. And especially with the tooling with that Webpack provides, like. I'm just blown away that I can just vim into a file, change something, and, so, and then it's just reloaded there. It's working. I can cry. We've come so far. It's like 1995. Well, it looks like 1995. <laughs> <laughs> CSS or something, dudes. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, hold on. Watch out. This is some CSS. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I think. I think this is the way to go. If someone knows a better way, please let me know. But I think with Amazon APIs and, and, and JavaScript, uh, I think I'm, I'm pretty cool about this. Can someone throw a counter? Please, I'm in my way so I can I make sure so. that I'm not delusional. I think it's, it's great. I, I, I use a lot of those Amazon APIs and I've built multiple. So I also have a server. I have serverless apps. I have a server. Uh, Which is like better, man. Serving multiple times. <laughs> uh, but I think what, there, is, there is a learning curve to the Amazon APIs. Yeah, um, they're not. The, uh, the documentation, once you get used to it, is not that bad. But it is a pain. I must say, it's a learning curve. But the big, the big uh, breakthrough for me is learning is, is using doc clients because that's more like JavaScript oriented or something like that. Like if you use DynamoDB. By default, you have to like name your types all the time, which is infuriating. But yeah, Docline makes it easy. Yeah, I guess. I guess the trouble is 
I mean, Amazon, I don't know how long they're going to be around for, but there'll be something else, and then there'll be another API you have to work with. There's no standard API for, for doing crud operations, is there? Oh, okay. I'm taking questions. What's your favorite Bollywood movie, movie given that you're a Trump supporter? Bollywood uh, movie, uh, June 3, with the girls and the pumping soundtrack. <laughs> Easy, next. <laughs> you say dot client. Dot client. Uh, oh, DOC, like uh, dot client. Oh, dot client. Yeah. 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 And that's the revelation. I was going to link it there, but that would probably make you cry. Um, I know you already said this, but how reliable do you think those uh, connections are in, in low internet? Low internet? Yeah. Well, like in India or something. Yeah. God knows, probably shit. <laughs> I'm in freaking Singapore, dogs. This is a, I think this is a, a fantastic place to your next little internal app. Yeah, don't get carried away and like, oh, I'm going to build a big, I'm going to build Google, guys. No, 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 no. Don't bother. So when you um, send data to the server, can you say this is data just for me, or oh, this is a piece of data that other people will be able to access? Uh, yeah, you can set up the policy in S3, an IAM management thing. I was, I was going to try to show you a policy, but for some reason. Yeah, I mean, you can, you, you have really good control here. You have awesome control. This is that the server that's a server network. Or this, this policy stuff is all done by AWS. Do you have anything like a notification? Uh, notification, what do you mean? I mean the socket. WebSocket, no, I mean, no. Amazon don't do WebSocket server, do they? No, 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 no. But my, my boys do, we actually, I mean, I'm in DevOps, so I have to maintain a uh, WebSocket server. And to be honest, fuck that shit. <laughs> Maintaining a WebSocket server is not, not fun. <laughs> but sockets are very expensive. Um, so yeah, I'm, and we use it for a chat server. Please blank this out. We should kill the chat server. We should kill the chat feature. No one uses it. Only crazy spammers do. Okay, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How can you handle, for example, DB connections to a server that's... JP connections? You just do a gap course to jump on it, like update. But you connect your GD each time server so is the one that's called. But like, how do you how can you kind of stay the pool of connections? Um, I mean, I do it very manually and probably badly by just doing an update when I like on a push button. I don't do anything very like that kind of You know what I mean? I'm doing it very naively. I mean, you're welcome to look at my code and laugh, but yeah, it's just like. <coughs> fetch calls and whatever. I'm actually using the SDK, what am I talking about? I just use that, the S Amazon SDK thing. So I'm assuming they, they do it efficiently and maybe they intelligently call the connections, but knowing AWS client, they'll probably fuck it up. Uh, carry on. <laughs> uh, so I really wanted to use... Oh, uh, last one. Okay, yeah, quickly get on Okay, so... Okay, thanks guys. Thanks,